Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of RCT1 But Beautiful. And in this scenario, I'm going to take on Katie's Dreamland, or Katie's World as it's known in American English. So, um, if you don't know, this park is actually based on Lightwater Valley, which is a park in the UK. And, uh, yeah, so something which the park is mostly known for is its coaster, the ultimate, or, uh, as it is uh, recreated in this game, the storm. Well, uh, this version, the storm, is uh, a lot shorter than the real coaster, which is uh, one of the longest coasters in the world. It's uh, over two kilometers. Sadly, uh, it's no longer running. It's uh, standing in the park, but not uh, operating. But yeah, definitely go check out a POV video uh, of uh, the ultimate, and then compare it with this layout, and you'll see a lot of uh, similarities. It's actually a coaster with a fun history. Uh, so its construction was uh, actually overseen by engineers from uh, British uh, Railway Engineering. So yeah, definitely a coaster with a very uh, unusual uh, history. Now, um, we also have this coaster here called uh, Runaway Plumber, which I believe is based on the coaster called uh, Red Race, uh, which was actually in a big uh, barn building. Or a big warehouse building. And uh, the actual park also had a, a suspended uh, coaster, like uh, this one. But I believe it had a vertical lift. But yeah, um, lots of similarities to uh, the park Lightwater Valley. Now, um, for this park, uh, I think I want to actually uh, reimagine this ride, the storm. And for the rest of this park, uh, yeah, the park is called Katie's Dreamland. I thought uh, I'm, I'm going to turn it into a park which mostly focuses on uh, on trains and being a bit industrial. So uh, Katie's Dreamland, I'm going to turn it into Katie's Steamland. So yeah, I um, just want to uh, want to fill it with uh, with trains and have a nice uh, yeah, industrial theme. So I want to make some nice uh, metal bridges uh, over here throughout the park and just have lots of trains uh, going around here and of course uh, reimagine this uh, coaster the storm. Perhaps uh, we, I can turn it into a nice uh, hybrid coaster. I think that will be, uh, uh, that'll be nice and it will allow me to actually also give it some of the new elements that were added uh, several uh, weeks uh, ago to the game. Or maybe it's already a few months ago. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to get to work in this uh, scenario. Anyway, um, I'm going to uh, remove uh, all the rides that are already here. It's going to leave the storm for now uh, so that later I can uh, nicely uh, reimagine its layout. Anyway, time to get to work in the park. Alright, uh, I've now built two uh, railways uh, in the middle of the park. Uh, they're going to be a, a big uh, centerpiece uh, in the park. Well, as you can already see, a lot of the area is already filled up uh, with this. Uh, there's still some uh, space uh, uh, in between these sections and around it. Uh, but yeah, they're definitely a big uh, part of the park, of Katie's uh, Steamland. Uh, 
Now, a big part is also this big bridge here. I actually uh, copied this design from uh, Alex uh, RSDV. Um, he made a bridge like this in his uh, bobsleigh coaster contest entry. Um, yeah, I uh, really like that design, so that's why I uh, chose to go for a design here that's very uh, similar. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, it works here pretty well. And yeah, this kind of feel is also what I want uh, for the rest of the park. So a kind of uh, metal uh, in some nice uh, colors, a bit industrial. Uh, yeah, that kind, of, that kind of feel. Anyway, um, yeah, with the railway uh, layout now done, um, I want to work a bit on the path layout in the park, and I also want to have a perimeter uh, around the edge. Alright, I've now made a fence around the park. Now, uh, I decided to also just uh, include this land, because it is uh, available for sale in the original scenario. So yeah, I think I'm uh, gonna try and actually make use of this land. don't really know what I'm going to uh, build here yet. Perhaps I can make another uh, railway or something, but uh, yeah, that'll be something to check out later. Anyway, um, first off, uh, yeah, every any uh, every park, of course, needs an entrance. So uh, that's what I'm going to be uh, building next. Alright, um, I'm pretty new to this uh, style. I uh, never really built a lot in, uh, uh, yeah, in industrial uh, theming, so I'm just winging it right now. But uh, so far, I think it's starting to look uh, pretty good. Uh, what I'm especially happy with is how this gate uh, here turned out. Uh, yeah, I think that just looks uh, incredible. I'm really happy with it. So over here we see some, we see the ticket counters. Here we see the toilets. And here we see the uh, uh, gates with the ticket checkers. Now, <laughs> it doesn't really look like there's a lot of capacity through this gate, especially over these uh, tiny bridges. But uh, I mostly care about how uh, they look here. I think it looks uh, pretty, pretty nice. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do next is uh, plan out some paths through the park. And I think then finally... Um, I can uh, take care of uh, this coaster here in the back. Uh, I want to uh, turn this into something more modern. Uh, I think uh, this would look really cool as an RMC. Uh, yeah, I think that will be uh, a much better fit for this uh, park.
All right, um, I've worked on a path layout for the park. Uh, well, yeah, that's probably not the most exciting uh, part that I just did. Um, but yeah, here you can see it. Uh, oh, the, all the height differences in this park do make it a little bit difficult for me to uh, work here. But uh, in the end, uh, when the, the path is decorated and when the bridges have been built, um, that uh, I want to go over these uh, railroads, uh, I think it will look uh, really cool in the end. Uh, looks like a little bit of a bug here <laughs> where a lot of guests are actually uh, stuck uh, waiting for this train. Uh, that's probably something that, uh, that I should fix. Uh, Alright. <laughs> anyway, um, and of course what I also did uh, is uh, redo this coaster. So this coaster used to be called The Storm. And now it's called uh, Ultimate Storm, uh, which is of course a nod to the uh, existing coaster, which this was based on the Ultimate, and uh, of course the original name of this coaster in Roller Coaster Tycoon, which was The Storm. Now it still has uh, two lift hills, so you can see one over here. Uh, after lift hill you can see two uh, zero G rolls. Uh, I love this uh, new element. Uh, so yeah, both in opposing uh, directions. And then here's the second lift hill. After the second lift hill, there's a very steep drop. Then here's a curve with uh, another uh, zero G roll. I used uh, a s normal zero G roll and a steep one or a large one. And over here, there's two opposing zero uh, G roll elements, so uh, it kind of forms a stall. Then over here, the coaster does a turnaround. Now, um, the original coaster had a tunnel over here. Uh, well, the tunnel was in this direction. But I still wanted to uh, use this uh, piece of ground here. So uh, I made another tunnel here in another direction. Now, after a tunnel, um, here there's another uh, zero G roll. Then, after that, um, uh, yeah, it passes over itself here. And then it does a few more hills with some weird banking, another roll before it returns back to the station. So yeah, six inversions. Uh, um, uh, I think it, the coaster turned out uh, really well. Uh, the layout of the coaster at least. Now what I plan to do next is add some uh, custom supports. Uh, of course these supports now look like they're wooden. And I actually want to make it look like these uh, uh, more of these supports are actually supported uh, with metal supports. On uh, RMC coasters you can often find a mix of metal and uh, wooden supports, especially on the taller ones uh, and on the taller parts uh, you see more and more metal. And I want uh, quite a bit of that. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, quickly make a temporary path from the station to the coaster so the guests can actually reach it. And then after that, uh, I'm going to uh, work on making some nice uh, custom supports for this coaster. Alright, uh, here you can see the support structure that I made for the coaster. Now, um, I think I definitely uh, overdid it a little bit. But by now, uh, overdoing things uh, has kind of become my uh, playstyle. But yeah, I'm uh, super happy with how these uh, supports turned out. Uh, I don't often use these uh, supports, they're the New York corner fillers. 
But uh, yeah, when used properly, you can make beautiful uh, pillars with it, uh, or supports in this case. Also put some of these uh, hardline twister cursor uh, track pieces. Uh, yeah, I think they work here uh, pretty well. Let's see if I put these at the correct height. Ah, this one's a little bit too low. <laughs> Alright, now it's perfect. But yeah, um, I did these uh, supports all over the higher parts. And <laughs> I th yeah, I'm just so happy with uh, how they look. Definitely uh, was worth the effort. Now, it actually took, all took me so long to do that I actually failed the scenario. But of course, there's always the win scenario cheat that you can then uh, use. Yeah, where is it? Over here. But yeah, I'm really glad with how it turned out. And uh, with that done, it's time to work on the, some more details for this coaster. It definitely needs a nice station and uh, a transfer track uh, as well. Okay, here we have the station for the ultimate storm. Now I decided to go for a uh, brick uh, mixed with uh, um, yeah some more uh, metallic objects. Uh, I used this uh, roof made of wooden cozy track and the ghost train track. And I think together they combine uh, pretty well. So I put some of these margin uh, objects uh, here on top. I think they work pretty well in uh, yeah making it look uh, more uh, a bit more industrial. Okay, um, yeah, I'm quite happy with uh, how the queue turned out. Also put some of these uh, covers uh, over the p path here, made of uh, glass. Uh, uh, also made a little bridge here over the railway. Uh, I think that looks uh, pretty nice. Okay, um, yeah, with this ride done, well, yeah, I think it's mostly done uh, uh, as it is right now. Uh, with this ride done, I think we can move on to the next ride.
Okay, that's uh, another coaster of the park uh, pretty much completed. So yeah, um, it probably doesn't uh, take too much uh, knowledge to uh, see uh, which uh, coaster I based this on. This is of course based on uh, Baron uh, 1898, which is uh, in the Dutch theme park, the Efteling. Uh, well, of course, it's not exactly the same, but the layout kind of uh, is in the same... Uh, yeah, it's kind of in the same uh, spirit as uh, as uh, Baron. So uh, out of the station, immediately goes uh, upwards, uh, with a straight uh, lift hill, then uh, drops downwards into the into the ground here, right, uh, uh, yeah, right in the middle of this path, and after that uh, goes above ground uh, with uh, with a half loop here. Uh, one more inversion in the track. Now the trains don't actually have sprites for this inversion, so it does look a little bit wonky. But uh, I'm, uh, I'll accept that. And finally, here in the end, just a few more helixes before it returns back to the station. Now, obviously, uh, most time here was spent on uh, actually uh, decorating the station and the uh, first uh, and uh, the lift hill. <laughs> but yeah, uh, again, may have gone a little bit overboard here, but uh, I think it uh, looks really good. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm really proud of uh, what I put together here. Anyway, um, yeah, I saw a lot of complaints from guests that they are not actually able to find out where to buy food. Um, so I'll now just uh, make a few plazas around the park uh, where guests can actually uh, get some food and drinks and probably also go to the toilet. Okay, I've added some uh, shops and stalls to the park in several spots. Uh, for example, uh, over here. Now, as a nod to... Um, uh, the actual Baron ride at Efteling. I actually put a, a soybean milk uh, stall here because uh, the, the one at Efteling also has a shop that sells uh, milk and also sells uh, cookies. I actually made the shops invisible and I uh, put some entertainers here in a custom shack that I made. I think uh, that uh, actually looks uh, pretty funny. Now, I um, also put uh, some uh, I put a pizza shop over here in this little building, also has some toilets in there. Uh, speaking of toilets, we also have a tree of life uh, over here, as you can see it's very alive. <laughs> and over here, in this uh, corner of the map where I haven't really built m anything else yet, uh, here we have Barney's uh, Burgers. Again, I decided to make a custom shop over here uh, with some of these entertainers uh, placed in here. Now the beep editor. Uh, has a really cool function where you can uh, just select an entertainer when it's frozen and you can uh, move him about. So that's actually really useful to get them in, uh, in uh, the right spots. So I actually also use that over here because these entertainers are really only visible from one angle, this specific one. So I just moved them uh, around a little bit so that uh, they weren't stuck behind this uh, support. And since I will name my entertainers after patrons <laughs> at the end of the uh, yeah, at the end of the episode, I do want them all to be actually visible. Alright, um, next thing I'm going to do is uh, something which is really uh, going to be a center point of the park, which is the station for this ride. Now, um, I actually want it to be kind of like a circular station with a, with a dome roof. Um, I actually saw a pretty cool design uh, for this in a park from, uh, or a contest park from Hank the Super Nerd in an old contest. I'm going to try and see if I can uh, create something similar here, uh, but uh, it will be a little bit bigger scale. So yeah, I, uh, I just hope that it uh, works out, that it looks nice in the end, and uh, if it doesn't I'll have to uh, think of something else. So yeah, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and give it a try.
Alright, that took me a few in-game years to uh, complete, but I think it turned out uh, great. Actually, it turned out much greater than I anticipated uh, beforehand. Yeah, uh, re just really happy with this uh, station. And yeah, um, I think this dome room uh, just looks uh, really cool. It's a little bit larger than the version that I uh, took inspiration from. But in the end, uh, yeah, these glass blocks uh, uh, just work uh, really well with this uh, junior cozy track and this wooden cozy track. And all in all, they just make a, a great uh, looking dome. Uh, and even though on the bottom uh, it's a little bit uh, wider, uh, yeah, I think that doesn't really matter in the end. Uh, I think it just uh, just uh, works out uh, nicely. I'm probably going to do a little bit of touching up uh, here on this building, but uh, I think it's uh, mostly done and uh, a good fit for the park. Anyway, um, we still have quite a lot of area uh, of the park to fill. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to add a few filler rides uh, over here in this area of the park. And after that, uh, I'm going to continue on uh, several more rides for uh, this area here. Alright, I've uh, built a few more rides. Uh, over here you can see a swinging ship. Now, what's uh, interesting for this swinging ship is that I actually didn't use any shoestringing for it. Um, there, there's actually an actual station here in the middle for the ride. It's in launched mode. And I just moved the position of vehicle 1 to the middle. And that actually uh, allowed it, allows it to just uh, yeah, continue on until the vehicle 1 is on the station and it will always uh, center itself uh, beautifully. So it's uh, another way to do it. Maybe I'll make a tutorial for this uh, at some point because it's uh, yeah, a really easy way to make a custom uh, swinging ship. But I think it uh, worked out pretty well in the end. Now over here we have uh, a spiral slide, nothing uh, special about it, just to fill up this spot. Over here I made this uh, uh, really small condo ride. Normally I put a rotor drop tower in the middle then uh, these vehicles are spaced out a bit more. But over here I actually used uh, a piece of uh, diagonal track. Uh, it looks like a normal vertical track, but uh, yeah, it's actually just diagonal track. And I, uh, I just copied and pasted pieces. Uh, I had to do it for every angle, uh, because all these pieces are only visible from one angle. But in the end, uh, I think it worked out pretty well. Um, I think I got this right design from... Uh, uh, a park that uh, Kanaifa made and uh, I'm sure he uh, uh, took his from someone else but uh, yeah in the end uh, I just really like this uh, ride design so I uh, uh, yeah I pretty much uh, uh, took it uh, took inspiration from his design I think it fits here really well so, yeah, um, with this done um, yeah, I I, uh, I spent a lot of time on these rides, but there's still quite a big area of the park to fill. 
Um, I think uh, a nice way to fill up another uh, big area of the park is by making a water ride. Now, actually, already from the beginning, I had sort of planned to use this uh, water uh, that's in the park. In the original scenario, there's actually a swan ride over here, a boat fire. Uh, I think it will actually be fun to uh, use this uh, water for a log flume. Now, uh, <laughs> I actually built a log flume in a lot of these parks uh, for this uh, series. Uh, might actually be nice to do a splash boats ride here. So maybe I'll extend the water a bit more. You can probably have a station uh, over here. And then I'll cl make it climb upwards here and then splash down into the water. It will be a really uh, simple ride, but uh, yeah, I think it will uh, fit here quite uh, nicely. Alright, here's the splash boats ride. Now, um, yeah, I gave it kind of like a steampunky vibe uh, once again with these uh, nice uh, pillars over here next to it. Um, also worked a bit on uh, making a new bridge over here. Now, what I find a little bit annoying is that guess uh, sprites actually tend to uh, disappear as they walk over this bridge. Uh, so yeah, um, I might. Uh, try to fix that a bit, I'll probably just have to get rid of these uh, arches here. And that's sad because uh, I quite like the way they uh, looked. But yeah, um, if the guests keep glitching out then probably I'll just have to think of uh, something else. Uh, as you could see uh, I also worked a little bit on the uh, bridge over here. Now again, kept it pretty simple. Um, but yeah, um, I do like the way this uh, this turned out in the end. Okay, um, I still have a few spots left in the park. Uh, we can probably fit uh, another roller coaster somewhere. Um, yeah, I think actually over here we could fit something like a shuttle loop. Maybe I could do another one of those uh, arrow uh, launched looper coasters. Because uh, with the support structure, um, I think it would actually look great in this uh, theme. So probably I'll just go for something like that. Just uh, like the one I did in Evergreen Gardens. And uh, I could definitely fit another ride over here uh, in this uh, area of the park. And maybe uh, a filler ride uh, in, the, in this section. Maybe you could do something like a drop tower um, over here. Now, um, I went through some uh, parks that were uh, submitted by other players and also through some previous parks that I've created. And I think it will be uh, fun to actually create a star flyer here. Which is a ride uh, which I have only built in Park Decked so far. Uh, if you don't know what the Star Flyer is, it's basically a big swing ride, uh, yeah, which sits on a, which would normally travel up on a big uh, tower structure. Um, so yeah, obviously in this game it would not be possible to actually make the whole uh, structure that moves up and down, but uh, I could probably just treat it uh, just like the Condor. Uh, except uh, a lot uh, bigger. So yeah, I saw a, a very nice rendition of uh, Star Flyer in the uh, Trumafarium's uh, timeline uh, park from last year. I think I will go for a design that's uh, kind of uh, similar, except I'll make it a little bit smaller to fit in this space. I think it will look really cool in the end, and I'm uh, really excited uh, to start working on it. So uh, let's go.
All right, uh, here's my rendition of a star flyer. Now, um, uh, I do want to give a little shout out to Trumafarium, who, uh, yeah, whose uh, ride uh, design I was uh, inspired by. I did give it a bit of my own spin, but uh, yeah, I did uh, take uh, uh, quite a lot of elements from uh, his design. Anyway, um, time to create some more rides in the park. Alright, I've added another ride to the park, uh, now in the form of a shuttle loop. As you can see, I let the train pass under it, just for that little bit of extra interaction. And just to make the ride uh, feel a little bit more uh, special. Uh, I'll have to think of a nice color scheme for the character, but uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, think of something. But yeah, uh, I think it turned out uh, pretty well. Also put a little bit of decoration here on the side of the building. Uh, but yeah, I uh, think it uh, looks great in the end. So now uh, there's just uh, um, yeah, really one more uh, big spot to fill over here. Alright, I've added several new rides to the park, some a little bit bigger than others. Uh, 
But yeah, I'm over here, launched the uh, freefall tower. I also put a little train uh, on top, which still uh, is puffing uh, steam. I thought that was a, <laughs> a funny little uh, detail. Really like it. Uh, over here, I made the uh, made an enterprise. Also relayed the train uh, track a little bit, uh, so I could uh, put it right here in the middle. I think that uh, that's also a pretty nice uh, location for it. Now over here, I made a Ferris wheel. Also sits here uh, nice and uh, in the middle. So a little bit of space left, so I thought this was a good use of it. And finally, this final space here in the park, uh, I filled up with uh, a coaster. Alright, um, there's still some space in the park left. Um, I'm just going to do landscaping and foliage in there. Uh, especially here in the middle. Um, yeah, I don't think there's much point in making another attraction here. The path towards it would be a little bit awkward. And I think I already have enough uh, attractions in the park. So yeah, um, I will just uh, do some foliage in the park. I'm going to do that uh, off camera. So I'll be back uh, in a minute. Alright, I've now added foliage all throughout the park. Uh, I think it, uh, that makes it all look a lot nicer. Also did a lot of uh, ground texturing throughout the park. Uh, a little bit of decorating here and there. Some uh, uh, plants, some uh, flowers, etc. Now what I also did is uh, add uh, a lot of entertainers throughout the park. And I tried to put a lot of them in funny spots. <laughs> like this guest over here. Who looks like he uh, climbed up the the tower here, the spire. It's actually a guest who's jumping, who's frozen in place. Uh, we have some guests on top of the uh, building here. This guest is waving. Uh, we have a mechanic here hanging from the side of the ferris wheel. We have another mechanic here <laughs> hanging from the side of this uh, uh, launch freefall. Uh, we have some guests uh, here who uh, are going for a swim. So this, uh, of course, is all possible uh, because of the Peep Editor plugin, which makes it really easy to uh, um, change the uniform of an entertainer to that of a guest, for example, or a mechanic, and to freeze them in place. Now, um, we have 43 uh, entertainers, so uh, I also have 43 patrons at the moment, so uh, I will now name all of these uh, entertainers after uh, my patrons. Alright, all my patrons are now in the park. Now, uh, most of them have a spot where they are stationary. Uh, some of them uh, are just uh, walking around in a queue, uh, just to keep the guests from uh, complaining that the queues are too long. And uh, a few of them are just roaming uh, throughout the park. So if you want to see uh, where your uh, character is, uh, simply download the park from my Discord server. You can find the link to my Discord server in the video description. And then you can check out the park uh, for yourself. And you can also find out where uh, your uh, entertainer is. Alright, um, with that done, I think it will be fun to take a little tour through the park. Just to see everything that was uh, built in this episode. So I'll start at the entrance of the park. Uh, here you can see a big gate. Uh, lots of track texture here, lots of different tra track elements. Some toilets here, uh, here's a little entrance gate. Um, you can see a little walkway made with mini golf track, some steam, because the, they uh, hid a little train under it, and some cog wheels. Um, over here we have the park's uh, uh, launched uh, uh, yeah, shuttle loop. Uh, yeah, it's, it's almost same as the one in uh, Evergreen Gardens, just different color. And I uh, made sure to pass the train under it, uh, just for that little bit of extra interaction. And of course, nice little station building. Also made a custom swinging ship here. Uh, difference w between this one uh, and the ones I usually make. This one's not actually. Uh, this one doesn't actually use shoe stringing. It's actually a hidden station right over here. Uh, here's a launched freefall. Parked a little train uh, on top. I think that looks pretty cool. And there's also a mechanic hanging here on the side, holding on for dear life. Over here I made this vertical drop coaster, obviously inspired by uh, Baron 1890. 
or 1898 at uh, Efteling. Yeah, I'm quite proud of how this one turned out. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool with these Ferris wheels on the side and uh, all the moving stuff here, all the machinery. Uh, over here we have Ultimate Storm, which is uh, my version of the of the Storm. That was kind of an upgrade. Um, uh, I, I tried to make it uh, follow sort of the same layout, uh, especially here in the beginning, but uh, I gave, of course, gave it an RMC twist. So uh, there's uh, actually some inversions uh, right here uh, where these hills used to be. And I made this one a little bit steeper. I believe it has six uh, inversions now. Uh, so it goes around in approximately the same area. And the original one had a tunnel here. Uh, I also made a tunnel here, but uh, from a different uh, angle. I think it uh, worked out pretty well. But yeah, especially happy with how the supports here turned out station also looks pretty good uh, here we have a condor ride it's smaller than the ones I usually make uh, required a bit of trickery with diagonal track but uh, in the end I think it uh, does look like a uh, yeah like a like a vertical tower uh, over here we have the splash boats of the park uh, quite a simple layout that passes under this uh, uh, railroad bridge here twice uh, here I had some space, so I made a ferris wheel, there's an enterprise over here, I made a star flyer here, uh, this is probably one of my favorite uh, rides at the park, I'll probably make uh, more of these in uh, in the future, I think it turned out uh, really well, it also looks really funny I think with this guest uh, who looks like he's climbing up here. <laughs> and uh, over here we have a powered coaster. So one, so, but this was uh, the last attraction that I added in the park. Uh, quite simple. I used the Giga Coaster track instead of the normal powered coaster track. I think it works uh, pretty well. And uh, I didn't even mention the railroads that are in the park. Uh, we can see, see two train tracks. Um, there's a green one and there's a yellow or a gold colored one. Yeah, and they uh, basically go throughout the entire park. Uh, lots of bridges, lots of interaction with the paths and other rides. I think they're really uh, yeah, a, a, cent a focal point of the park. Uh, and of course in the middle there's a big uh, station for the rides with a big uh, domed roof. So I'm really proud of how that turned out. So yeah, I'm really happy with how the park uh, turned out. Uh, this is a theme which I'm uh, not which I was not really comfortable with, a steampunk-ish uh, the industrial theme. But in the end, um, yeah, I think uh, uh, yeah, it, I think it worked pretty well. I uh, found a found a style. Uh, I found a way to uh, to use it well. I think so. Uh, I'm really happy with how all the rides uh, turned out in the end. All right, um, yeah, that was it for this uh, video. Uh, if you liked it, please consider giving the video a like. Uh, I would also really like to hear what you think of the park in the comments. Uh, if you want to check out this park for yourself, it's available for download from my Discord server. Link is in the video description. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. Actually, before we go, it might be fun to take a ride on all the roller coasters. Alright, see you later. <laughs>